Bards can be the most inspiring and humorous parts of any D&D adventure, but there's one college, the Bard College of Whispers, that can be far more nefarious. This is easy, it's the Dark Sun Bard, right? Like, it literally was like, you have Dark Sun, you have this Bard, who's very interesting because it's so distinct. And I love it when settings take classes and, and finagle with them, because then it lets us like expand with the classes in D&D as a whole. And then it's fun. So yeah, the College of Whispers, uh, it, it's the Dark Sun Bard. It's the sinister Bard when he shows up. He, like, he seems like a very, oh, he's here to entertain us, and he's here to spread news. But no, he's actually here to completely screw you up. And the fun thing to me about the College of Whisper, Whispers Bard, it's a great example of what makes Dungeons and Dragons fun. This is a character type that it isn't about combat. It's about breaking the game narratively. It's about messing with the NPCs and messing with the environment uh, in terms of the social fabric of your campaign. And, uh, and that's what really appealed to me was this idea like they're just going, going in much harder on a character who can manipulate and mess with others, but doing it in a way that was satisfying. You know, it's tricky. It's very easy to just make it very how I think... Um, just, just, just too, uh, too empty. Where it's just like, oh, you just get a big bonus to your, your, your charisma checks. A good dungeon master can roll with that. But what I see the College of Whispers design, it's to suggest things you can do to mess with NPCs that feels reliable. The College of Whispers is all about turning people against each other and isolating people. And so, my hope is that someone plays this, this type of bard and thinks, oh, what I want to do is infiltrate the bad guys organization. I don't want to just go into the dungeon and fight everyone. I want to go there and like as a traveling bard and, and, and then like perform and then start turning them against each other, right? Because to me, that, that, that's when D&D is fun. To me, combat in D&D, I like having the miniatures and I like the big tactical thing. But to me, that's the, that's the least interesting expression of Dungeons & Dragons. To me, the most interesting expression of Dungeons & Dragons is when it's just pure creativity and you're coming up with some wacky plan, and it's all about the, the tension within the party and the keeping the DM on their toes in terms of like, what is the party gonna try next? What does this mean for the campaign? And the, the, the part of the inspiration for this Bardic College came from a campaign I was playing in a few years ago where um, it's a pretty typical fantasy campaign. And then at one point, um, the cleric in the party had an audience with our patron, this noble who was like supporting us. And the cleric, and so none of the other characters are there, uh, except for my character, who was very suspicious of this patron. So I think I was like invisible and in the room. And uh, the party's cleric murdered our patron and did it in a way that no one knew that he had done it. And it just shocked everyone at the table. But it turned out the character had like this, this secret agenda to kill this guy. And it was awesome. It completely turned the campaign on its ear. And I love those moments. And that's what I want the College of Whispers to do is to mess with campaigns, to teach DMs, don't plan out too much and then roll with it. The player's gonna mess with your world. That's what makes the game fun is when things take a bizarre sideways turn. Without, now if you're playing a College of Whispers of Bard, College of Whispers Bard, don't be a dick about it, right? Don't ruin the campaign so that no one else is having fun, but like mess with it in a way that makes the game more exciting and interesting for everybody. <laughs> That's what D&D is all about, right? As a dungeon master, my favorite sessions are ones where at the start of the session, I think the campaign is about this or that and at the end of the session, it has gone some direction I never could have predicted, and I'm like furiously thinking, what's next week gonna be like? And that's how I stay engaged with the campaign. When the, I love it when the players mess with stuff. So the College of Whispers is essentially the kind of bard I hope to have in my next campaign, because that's the exact kind of character I like having messing with my campaign. Not, not for you to play necessarily, but have someone in your campaign that's playing that. I don't think anyone would let me play one, because I'm already pretty notorious for being a pretty much a loose cannon. Oh, you were anyway. very disruptive? <laughs> Well, in a good way, I hope. Oh, you but pointed me the, out uh, and said I was being disruptive in your game. No, you were fine. You were fine. <laughs> uh, I want to get some poison. Not that yeah. I would have helped against the jester. Yeah, um, he was undead. So. The undead jester. God, why that creeped me out to the point of almost having a nightmare. Oh, nice. Good. Like, undead jester seems like normally that's not creepy, but something yeah. about it, I'm like, oh, this is not great. It's the razor blade. That yeah, it was the razor put, blade. The yeah. straight edge. Like, <laughs> take a dagger, give it D12 damage, and call it a straight edge, and suddenly no one wants to mess with that. No, thing. no, it's way more creepy. That's Dungeons & Dragons in a nutshell. <laughs> that is. When you have an effect on people just using words and concepts, and that, that's storytelling. Uh, I am very excited for the College of Whispers. Cool. Uh, and, and, and typically, this, this is a bard who isn't in your face, no, strange, or no. creepy. He's pretending no, to he's be messed up. a happy-go-lucky bard. If he's creeping up people, he's messed up.
You can find The Bard College of Whispers and Xanthar's Guide to Everything, and you can purchase that book on dndbeyond.com by following the link in this video description, and also earn pre-order bonuses as well. I'm Ty Kenrick. Thanks for watching.